there and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn all about the Siberian Husky, an extraordinary canine with a mind-boggling capacity for learning. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the join button. Now, let's get into the video. History Siberian Huskies were created by the Chukchi people of Siberia some 500,000 years ago. The Chukchi tribe had to travel to the sea to hunt because they lived inland. They needed to transport a sled of walrus flesh home, and the solution was a sledding dog. The dogs were always around kids because the Chukchi woman cared for them. He hauled sleds for considerable distances. Early in the 1900s, the dogs were imported to Alaska to compete in long-distance races especially the All-Alaska Sweepstakes. They were famous for their sledding prowess and used to transport mail and race. They were dubbed Siberians after their homeland. The biggest accomplishment of the Siberian Husky occurred in 1925 during a diphtheria outbreak in Nome, Alaska. Antitoxin was desperately needed, so 20 mushers relayed the antitoxin from Anchorage to Nome a distance of about 700 miles in six days at 40 degrees below zero. The race made the breed well known. The bird Antarctic expeditions and the U.S. Army's Arctic search and rescue operations during World War II employed Siberian Huskies. In preparation for the bird Antarctic expedition, which started in 1928, many Siberian Huskies were gathered and trained at Chinook Kennels in New Hampshire. In the Arctic search and rescue unit of the Air Transport Command, Siberians also displayed valor during World War II. The Siberian Husky is still well known today for being a brilliant sled dog that can win races, but he also makes a beautiful home pet and friend. Among the breeds at the American Kennel Club registers, he ranks number 18. Appearance the Siberian Husky is a medium-sized dog. Their weight is usually between 35 and 60 pounds, with a height range of 20 to 23 and a half inches. The coat of a Siberian Husky is rich and silky, with an abundance of undercoats. There is a little rough on the neck, but no lengthy fringes on the legs or tail. The color spectrum includes black, white, and everything in between. Most dogs have white markings, especially on the chest and legs. Siberian Siberian Huskies have upright ears and brown or blue eyes, or both. Both the top line and the neck are carried straight. The thickly furred tail is held in a sickle or straight out behind. With their attractive appearance and exceptional skills, Siberian Huskies have captivated the general public's attention and artists, authors, and filmmakers for years. Temperament Siberian Huskies are loved for their gentleness and friendliness. Notwithstanding, they make terrible watchdogs as they hardly show much suspicion towards strangers, including burglars. Other than that, they have a tendency to love everyone. They typically adapt well to homes with multiple dogs and are not known to be aggressive. They get along well with kids and will invite anyone into their home, including trespassers. This medium-sized working dog has a good level of strength and agility. Huskies are extraordinary canines with a mind-boggling capacity for learning. They were initially bred to pull sleds and are still employed in this capacity. Many people have fallen in love with Huskies because of their untamed temperament and pride. Still, many are unaware of the true nature of this breed. Truth be told, this breed is not for everyone. Grooming the Siberian Husky's double hair coat helps it survive extreme temperatures. The undercoat is soft, thick, and somewhat coarse. This breed sheds minimally for most of the year, then blows the coat for around three weeks. No escaping it, your yard and home will probably be covered with tufts of husky hair of that period. It is advisable to brush your husky thoroughly every once in a while. During times of high shedding, the Furminator is an excellent item to have on hand. You won't need to bake the Siberian Husky very often because they are noted for being meticulous dogs who stay clean and have little dog odor. Keep their nails short and trim them frequently to prevent splitting and irritation. To maintain good oral health, brush your dog's teeth weekly. Socialization 
To socialize with him, it is vital to introduce your husky puppy to a range of settings, people, sights, noises, and scents in a controlled manner. At four weeks old, a puppy is ready to begin new, moderate social interactions. Missing significant socializing opportunities by the time a puppy is 14 weeks old might make him anxious and make it difficult for him to overcome his fears. Unfortunately, many adopted second chance dogs have either not been socialized or have only received very little exposure to social situations. This explains why many of these dogs develop crippling phobias if they're introduced to new experiences. Simply put, they cannot understand how to respond to the stimulus of unfamiliar circumstances. These dogs either experience emotional breakdowns or violent outbursts. The good news is that Siberian Huskies don't bark. The drawback is that they enjoy howling, which can be highly annoying to your neighbors. Siberian Huskies aren't the best pets for apartments unless you have one that's well-trained and exercised. When socialization is done well, the outcome is a dog with a self assurance to handle unfamiliar settings easily. Your dog won't experience an emotional breakdown, turn to fear, or exhibit fear regression. Exercise Huskies are incredibly active and require a lot of exercise, which is excellent if you enjoy being outside. They are the ideal pet for a busy, adventure-seeking owner because they're very energetic. If you're considering getting a husky, you'll need lots of room for them to run around and play. You'd need an incredibly safe garden with a high fence that reaches deep into the earth to prevent escapes. Giving your adequate husky exercise may be easier said than done. Still, it'll prevent boredom and undesired behavior such as escape attempts. Every day, your husky needs at least two hours of exercise. To keep them interested and avoid boredom, we advise spacing this out throughout the day and changing your walking routines. This high-energy breed may be destructive indoors and out if bored or not exercised. If left alone, they will destroy a house, and there have even been reports of Siberian Huskies biting through cement walls. Ideally, this should also include off-leash exercise in a safe area. In addition to training sessions, your husky will require lots of fun with you and leisure time in the garden. Huskies' thick coats may overheat in the summer. Avoid taking your dog out for exercise during the warmest hours of the day and look for any indications of heat stroke. Long walks and runs are usually best done in the early mornings and late at night. Training they have a mind of their own and independent personalities, which could make them a nightmare to teach. Wondering how to train a husky puppy? Being a great leader is an excellent place to start. Huskies were developed as sled pullers. They must collaborate in groups, and every strong team needs a captain, right? Because Siberian Huskies are group animals, they require an owner who is the undisputed alpha dog. This simplifies training since your dog will respect you. But don't be shocked if he occasionally pushes the limits of your position in the pack and attempts to take charge. When this happens, it is critical not to give in to their pressure. Assert your leadership authority by reaffirming the ground rules with clarity and consistency rather than by bullying or beating. Making your dog wait to eat is an excellent demonstration of your jurisdiction. The husky will see you as the guardian of all valuable resources, including food, treats, toys, and other canine goodies. They will destroy yards and flower beds, but they may be trained to dig it just in a specific yard area. Instead of attempting to break your dog's digging habit, simply train him to do so in one location. Sit command reinforcement and obedience training is essential. Positive behavior must be rewarded. Praise your dog even if it's just lying peacefully. The bond will only worsen if you punish it excessively and train it inconsistently. Keep all training sessions brief and engaging and constantly praise your dog for good conduct. Diet and Nutrition Siberian Huskies thrive on high-quality, commercial, or homemade dog food. Typically, we advise dividing their daily allotment into two meals. If you sometimes offer your dog treats or use incentives for training, keep in mind to adjust their daily limit. Treats shouldn't account for more than 10% of a pet's daily caloric intake since this might throw their nutrition out of balance. Age and health problems may affect your Siberian Huskies' nutrition, so do well to keep them lean and healthy by offering 
delivering them balanced dog food. To help your dog establish a pattern, consider feeding them at the same time each day. Always consult your vet if you have any questions or challenges about your dog's diet. Health with a lifespan of 11 to 13 years, the Siberian Husky may develop minor health issues such as progressive retinal atrophy, hypothyroidism, cataract, and corneal dystrophy. A veterinarian may do thyroid, hip, and eye checks on the dog to rule out some of these concerns. Siberian Huskies are a lovely breed despite their challenges. Fans of this energetic breed appreciate their outstanding personalities. Huskies make excellent family pets when properly taught and cared for. Husky Tales, anyone? We would love to hear from you in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.